The internet works through a massive global network of optical fiber cables. In this animation, you can see how data typically flows between the different levels of internet service providers in the modern internet. The optical fiber cables carry signals in the form of light. However, your laptop or a mobile phone processes electrical signals. So, how does this conversion of light to electrical signals happen? And more importantly, why is the internet structured the way it is today? Let's talk about the structure of the modern internet. This animation shows different internet service providers. For instance, AT&T is a Tier 1 ISP. You can see how optical fiber data starts from the landing stations and reaches your home, passing through many levels of ISPs. But first, let's get into some history to understand more about the evolution of the Internet. The Internet was made available to the public for the first time in the 1990s. The very first Internet used the same line cables as your telephone, specifically coaxial copper cables, and it worked completely on electrical signals. A splitter divided the Internet signals from the telephone signals. It is impossible to mix different electrical signals together and then separate them out. Either telephone or the Internet signal was sent at a time. So, with this technology, whenever you use the telephone, your Internet connection was lost. Another disadvantage of this technology was its very low data speed and the issue of interference. Any cable which carries electrical signals generates an electromagnetic field around it. The signal becomes prone to interference from any other electrical power lines or communication lines. In short, it is not a good idea to transfer Internet signals in the form of electrical pulses. This is why optical fiber cables replaced coaxial cables after a few years. The light signals have no interference issues. Moreover, you can mix different signals together in an optical fiber cable using WDM technology and separate them out after the transmission which is why optical fiber cables provide very high data speed. In a data center, every server has a device called an SFP transceiver that sends and receives optical light signals. This device uses a laser to send light signals through an optical fiber cable. The bulk of the data transfer occurs through the optical fiber cable in the form of light. Before feeding it to your laptop, another device on the user side, called an optical network terminal, converts the light into electrical pulses. The ONT is basically an advanced version of a modem. Let's see how light signals are converted into electrical signals in an ONT. First, a photodetector receives the incoming light signal. When the light falls on the junction of the diode, it generates electrons and holes. The holes are attracted toward the negative side of the battery, and the electrons are attracted toward the positive side. This is how an electric current is produced in the circuit according to the incoming light signals. The ONT is connected to a router with an Ethernet cable. A router is a networking device that receives, analyzes, and forwards data packets to a device that has the same IP address as the data packet's destination address. The router will be able to understand these electric signals. The connection from the router to the device can be either wired or wireless. Advanced Ethernet cables can transfer data at speeds between 10 to 40 gigabytes per second. But as we know, transferring data through copper wire has an interference issue. Length of the Ethernet cables are limited due to this issue. You can see that the Ethernet cables are well shielded. Moreover, they are twisted pair cables, which can reduce the interference issue to an extent. Advancements in technology have further reduced the use of copper cables. The technology is known as Fiber to the Home, or FTTH. In FTTH, fiber cables reach your home instead of copper cables. This animation clearly shows how the light to electrical signal conversion happens in FTTH. FTTH service provides 1000 megabytes per second of data transfer speed. We hope that this video has helped you understand the structure of the modern internet. Thank you for watching.